Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. I'm here to review this crinoline experiment. So we've put a Diefenbachia inside of this model of a lady's crinoline. And you can see it's actually made out of rings that are connected together with wire. And crinolines were popular in the late 1800s with the ladies. It was a frame for a dress that they would wear. And at the same time, there was also observed to be a very strange condition in the female population called female hysteria. So this experiment was designed to see whether there's biological harm coming to the plant from wearing this crinoline. And electronic engineers will recognize this as an induction ring system that is also functioning as a radio frequency antenna system. So anything that comes into contact with it is going to be exhibiting some strange effects from the exposures that these radio frequencies and induction effects create. So female hysteria was kind of a very strange affliction in women in the 1800s, caused a wide range of conditions to show up and nobody really understood what caused it. But we seem to be getting to the bottom of at least one of the causes of that condition by investigating the electrical, electronic and wireless radiation properties of these crinolines. So this plant here is a Diefenbachia. So this is how the Diefenbachia is supposed to grow. So you look at this plant, it's very healthy, has a lot of leaves, and the leaves are the size of your hand with lots of nice patterning. The reason why this one is growing well is down here. So if you look down here, we have a battery connected between the roots and the upper stem structure. And the reason why we have that battery there is because the plants in my home are grown in radio frequency fields that come from transmitting utility meters and also three cell phone towers that are in the area. And without the battery, they deform and they actually look like this. So they, they lose the patterning and the leaves become quite glossy and they, the plant becomes quite retarded. So how does this compare with our crinoline? Well, the crinoline is actually one of the healthier plants out of the retarded plants in my home. So it's actually above the growth rates that I see in my controls. And I certainly don't see this density of leaves in my control plants. My control plants seem to survive but they don't thrive. So this seems to be exhibiting a better thriving rate, but it's thriving in a very different growth pattern to what the Diefenbachia should be. So there is an effect occurring in this plant from being in contact with and wearing the crinoline. And it's not killed it, but it's actually given it this very enhanced effect compared to other plants that I grow just in the radio wave field without this framework. So there's no doubts at this point that the crinoline does do stuff to biological organisms. I'm going to leave this one growing for a little while longer. The fields have changed in my home. A uh, transmitter has been removed from one of the cell phone towers in my area. I'm seeing some enhanced growth in my plants, which I've never seen before. Uh, I wanna see whether it comes through in this plant. And there is some evidence of it coming through because you can see that this new leaf has patterning and there's one over here. So we've gone from being these green unpatterned leaves into pattern leaves. And I wanna see how well this effect comes through. And I also cut down a tree, the largest tree on my property, because I discovered it was actually emitting electromagnetic fields and that they were, they were biologically harmful fields. And I didn't know exactly the range that those fields were extending from the tree. So 
I have to, at this point, assume that this enhanced growth is from those two events. So we lost the tree, we lost a transmitter on a cell phone tower after I complained about it. And we seem to actually be seeing the results of that in this plant. So we're gonna leave this growing for several more months and we're gonna come back and review it again. So that's crown lens. So the result so far is, yes, they do affect biological growth, but they don't improve it as the battery does to this. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.